Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for June 4th through June 10th. This is for all signs. Generally my readings are love readings so if you're not looking for love then you probably shouldn't watch this or if you're not in love or whatever the case is. This is generally a love reading. We'll see what happens. We're going to get one of these and one of these. If it flips out while I'm shuffling you get to see it now otherwise it will be revealed at the end. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so this could have happened, could be happening now, or could be happening in the future. This is for the sign of Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know for this first week of June? I apologize for the delay. Things should be getting back on track. ASAP. This is for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know for this first full week of June, June 4th through the 10th, or whenever it resonates? Letting go of an obsession, getting off the fence. You've been delaying it, right? There's been some delays. It's like there's fear of change. There's fear of change, but... It feels as though you may be suddenly letting go, suddenly making this decision. Um, hmm. Two of Wands reversed, fear of the unknown. Deciding not to go? Are you deciding not to go? What the hell is this? But the fact of the matter is, you've been going through some sort of recovery. What the hell? There's a new beginning here, where the ending brings a new beginning. The death card. This five of cups reversed is like you're beginning to realize the truth. You may be deciding to not move forward not follow the plan that you had made. What the hell is this? The Four of Pentacles reversed is no longer resisting the change, letting it happen, letting go, releasing. This death card is an ending, you know, it's something end so that you can start over. You know, this is a release. This is a release too, so you're releasing something. Or you were thinking about releasing something, but you're still on the fence about it. You're not off the fence. You're on the fence. It's like, you may, are you canceling plans? What the hell is going on here? Oh, this is the five of pentacles. This is the five of cups. Five of pentacles. You're coming out of this darkness. You're coming out. You're seeing the light. You're seeing the truth. You are. You're seeing the truth of a situation. This Five of Cups is emotional disappointment over a relationship. Maybe you've had to release a relationship and it's caused, and you've been postponing it for a while, huh? That's what this is. This is postponing it. You can't decide. There's, a, there's indecision here. Do I stay or do I go? You've been, you know, you want to go, but you don't. In the meantime, you know, all you want is this love, but there's been a lot of heartache. But you're seeing things clearly. You are seeing things clearly. Oh, God. 
there's been some lies, there's been some maybe even some cheating, some deceit with the Seven of Swords, some shady business. The Four of Wands regarding maybe a commitment that you were in. I don't know. I think that you guys are standing your ground. I think you guys are. I think that you guys are probably trying really hard to do the right thing and to release, to let go of something that does, isn't meant for you. You're trying to, right? You're trying to, but at one time it was emotionally fulfilling and you're struggling. You're struggling to let it go. You're struggling to actually walk away, to go through this new door, to go down this new path. I see the struggle, okay? But it looks like you are releasing you are. It's like you're you're ready. You may be delaying it, but you're ready. You're ready to let this go. And it feels as though there's been a lack of contentment here. And you can no longer be left out in the cold. I can't. I can't. I'm not the victim here. And I'm not going to play the victim. It looks like you guys are probably using your sword. Because there's been some lies, there's been some decep deception and some cheating. And you've been trying to postpone this. But now it's time for you to do the right thing. To act with integrity. To broaden your horizons and take the next step. So whatever the heck this is. Let me zoom this in. The first week of June. You guys are probably finding the focus and the backbone to do the right thing for you. Even though it's not particularly joyful okay it's probably not what you want to do but you need to do it you know and i think that's what's going on here you're probably trying to look at be very objective about this situation there has been some shady you put could be dealing with a very shady character who has left you out in the cold in the past you realize the truth you see that they've brought conflict and, and struggles into your life you've been struggling with letting them go and it hurts like hell but it feels like you are going to release them if not this week eventually it's going to end the death card is you know what death is it's an ending it's a completion you're going through a transformation right now you are and it feels like you guys are probably calculating the next steps or the wisest steps to take to release this whatever it is oh goodness gracious yeah something's ending with the four of swords it's over it's over this is the death of an idea it's over i need it's time it's a time of recuperation it's a time of rest i need to i need to get my wits about me i need to get myself back to where i need to be it's, um, you know, I need to work on my foundation at this time, okay? Four, four, four. Four, four, four. That is a number of foundations. It's a number of organization. It's about paying attention to the signs. And I think that what you guys are doing is you're, you're trying to keep things organized. You're trying to keep things under control, and you know that you have to build a stronger foundation elsewhere, but in order to do that, you have to release this false foundation, this shady individual or situation that you've been postponing letting go of. It's been a real struggle. It has. It's been a real struggle because this is something you've been dealing with for a while now, maybe, maybe even four years. I don't know. You've been dealing with it for a while now. And now it's time for you to accept the truth of this situation and find your backbone to be assertive in regards to what is going to make you happy at this time in your life. Interesting. Yeah, you're giving up. You're giving up on a situation. There's been too much illusion. There's been too many secrets. And there's been too much, too much mystery. Okay, you're, you're dealing with a situation where there's too much unknown and you have, I have to know, I have to know there's hidden forces. It's like somebody is keeping secrets and you know it and it's driving you nuts. Um, yeah, I think there's an unexpected choice in love here, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, you have a choice between two people or they have a choice between two people. 
you know, and there's been a lot of unexpected cl uh, conflicts in your life, and you're, I think that you're at a point where it's time to make that solid decision and, you know, put yourself back on top and defend yourself, and I think this week that's what you're doing. I think you're probably on the defensive, you're probably using your sword, and you're going to do what's right for you at this time. It's time for you to recuperate from this period where it's been such a struggle. And I can see that you guys are probably um, walking away from this dead end, okay, dead end situation. Interesting. There's an unexpected choice here. There's an unexpected choice in love, perhaps, with a lover's card. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. Do you stay or do you go? This is a card of consequences. Do you continue to live in fear of what the hell is going on behind the scenes, or do you move on? That's where the indecision is. Because there's, there's secrets here, and you know it. You know it. Whatever it is, there is some secrets. Somebody's been feeding you some bullshit. You know it, and now you have to decide, is this what I want to be involved in for another couple years or, or forever? Is this what I want, or, or do I have the integrity to do the right thing for me at this time? Even though it's probably going to hurt, I'm going to have to de defend myself at this time. And maybe I just need to be independent because I deserve more. So, because I see the independence here, but I feel like you, it's a, it's a week of defending yourself, even if it brings some conflicts into your life. I think you probably be, there will be some communication that is not what you want, okay? There's probably a message or communication coming that is not what you want to hear, okay? Um... There's some, there's going to be there's some conflicts this week. And the thing is is it's time for you to make a conscious change. Because right now there's been a lack, there's been a loss of direction, there's been a loss of willpower, there's been a loss of mastering emotions and wherever you're at, there you're only going backwards. This the t the wheel of fortune reversed. It's, you're going backwards. Whatever the situation is, it's bringing you backwards. It's time to free yourself from this situation. Release it. Let it go. It isn't destined to be any longer. There's no momentum. There's no forward movement here with this secretive, mysterious situation. You're dealing with somebody who is very shady and secretive and doesn't want you to know the whole truth. That's what I see. But the fact of the matter is, you know, you know, you do, you know that this isn't happiness, okay? And I have to tell you that as above, so below, you have the resources within you to shed this whole situation, to bring success to your life. All you have to do is take action. This is a manifestation card. Your thoughts become things. You know what the hell is going on. Your intuition has been telling you that something is up with whatever, whether this is a person or a situation. You know that this isn't reality. You know that things are not going to change. But it hurts because you were emotionally invested and now you have to let it go. So I think that you guys have been on the fence and you're probably delaying the next step that you had planned. You're clinging to the past. Six of Cups reversed. You're clinging to the past, and it's not getting anywhere with the with the with the wheel card reversed. It's not it's not moving forward, especially with the chariot reversed. There's no forward movement, and there's no momentum. There's no success. There's no success in this situation that you have to free yourself from. So I can see that you are amidst a transformation, but you keep delaying it. So it feels like this week you are going backwards by clinging to the past when you have the opportunity to find the resources within you to move forward. Oh, son of a bitch. Free yourself. Did we, What the hell? Thank you, Lord. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yes, it is. 
you have an opportunity for a brand new beginning. Should you truly accept the truth, which you know what the truth is, but you're kind of like in denial. Back and forth, back and forth. Free yourself, please. Ten of, ten of wands reversed. Free yourself. They're right together. Spiritual connection. This relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime, okay? That means that you probably had a past life relationship with this person. There was a karmic debt that needed to be paid. Chalk it up to that. It doesn't mean that you have to spend the rest of your life suffering. You have an opportunity for a new beginning here. Perhaps even a new love with the lover's card and this death card. You do. But right now you're clinging to the past. A past life. That's what this is. A past life connection that is karmic. Free yourself. End it. It's time for a new beginning, Aquarius. Talk to you later.